guys, my name is Mallory Westbrook. I'm a staff engineer at Intelligent Concrete, and today I'm gonna go over a little bit more on geopolymer concrete. So a couple weeks ago, I did a video about some of the basics of geopolymers, the chemistry behind it, and today I'm gonna talk about why we care, why would we wanna use geopolymer concrete. So if you remember, geopolymer concrete, instead of utilizing Portland cement, actually utilizes alumina and silica that you can find in supplementary cementitious materials that you're already using today. So slag, fly ash, metacalin, colloidal silica. And this alumina and silica creates this hardened product that you can use as a building component. Why would we wanna use geopolymer concrete over traditional Portland cement concrete? So you can really adjust your ratio of silica to alumina to produce the performance requirements that you're looking for. So for example, a higher ratio of silica to alumina can produce this higher strength concrete, um, whereas lowering that ratio is gonna get you fast setting concrete. You can play with different supplementary cementitious materials to get um, reduced shrinkage, fire resistance. Um, so there's really a lot you can do with adjusting that ratio and also adjusting the temperature at which you are creating this geopolymer concrete. So you can really get any type of concrete that you're looking for by changing up the type of waste material you're using um, and the conditions in which you're making the geopolymer concrete. Another benefit is the reduced cost. So you're not using Portland cement. A lot of times with Portland cement, you're also using clay, limestone. Um, with geopolymer concrete, you're using, like I said, supplementary cementitious materials you already have, fly ash, slag, waste materials. Um, and the manufacturing process is a lot cheaper. And finally, I think the biggest benefit of geopolymer concrete is the environmental impact. So, um, it's estimated, and this number I feel like changes all the time, um, but the last I saw, cement production uh, accounts for 5% of the total CO2 emissions. And so with geopolymer concrete, you're not using cement at all. So the environmental impact is much less than when you're producing Portland cement concrete. And on top of that, um, you know, geopolymer concrete, like I said, is using these waste materials. So it's more of a sustainable alternative. It's taking the fly ash from coal combustion. It's taking these coal combustion residues to produce a building material um, that already has less CO2 emissions. It's a much more sustainable option. You can really manipulate it by adjusting what type of supplementary cementitious material you're using and it's cheaper. So Really great stuff. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.